Hello everyone, so if you're watching this video, it's because you're ready to step up your Zoom game and you're trying to integrate OBS with Zoom in order to create scenes like this where you can set up a PowerPoint behind you and scroll through it and talk to your audience. I can do this. I can put an effect. I can go inside a book and actually read to my students if I'm a teacher. Or you can talk to them directly like this, like it's an Apple commercial. Or you can be a funny guy and do something like this to engage your audience. Let's go back to my presentation. So I'm going to show you there's a lot going on here. First, let me go back to my screen share. Now we can see everything that's going on behind here in the, in the behind the scenes. So this is what I just went through. I put just me and that takes you here. Inside book takes me here and I can scroll through the book. Multiply takes me here. Let's assume that you want to create a presentation and display it behind you. First, you notice that I am in front of a green screen and I remove the background. So first things first, let me show you how to do that. As you can see here in my sources for this particular scene, I have my microphone, I have my camera, I turn off the camera and I'm gone, and I have my screen share. I'm gonna turn it off and that's gone. And let's see, if I turn it back on, you can see what I'm doing inside here. On my camera, I went to, I right click, and I'm on a PC by the way, and I went to filters, and I loaded the chroma key filter. I also have a sharpen effect to make me look a little sharper. And if you want to do that, first of all, you have to have a green screen behind you, just like I have here. If you don't, you can still do, let me close this, you can still do something like this or something like this, but you're going to have your background behind you. So if you're not looking into doing the green screen thing, I'm going to put the marker where you can skip the timer and I'll show you the next thing in this visual that I'm creating here. So you can skip this part. But if you want to stick around and find out how to tweak your green screen to make it look just like mine, where it's completely gone, I'm going to show you that now. We're going to go into this scene, back into my filter. So once you add your chroma key, and I want to show you this is how you add it. Create, you're going to add a chroma key effect. Okay, once you add that, this is what you're going to see. I added that I have a green screen. The only other thing you're going to have to change is your similarity. Right here, oh, let me turn this back on. Right here, you can see that it may be a little noisy. Oh, here it is. So if I push it all the way up, that's too much. If I push it all the way down, nothing happens. So I had it on the sweet spot for me which was, so you can see here that it's a little noisy there, the green screen is still behind me. 435 for me did it, and the green is completely gone. So once that's established, you can hit OK or close. Now I can make myself bigger or smaller. If I go back here to this particular look, I can have a white canvas here. And all this that you're messing with inside of OBS is being sent to your Zoom call. So everything that you see here in real time, you actually can manipulate what the audience is seeing in real time, and that translates directly into your Zoom call. Next, I'm going to show you how to send all this into Zoom. Okay, so now here I have Zoom. I'm going to see if I can, I don't know if that blocks you from seeing the infinite window, but I'm going to put this in front of OBS. Now, when you create a new meeting, if you're familiar with uh, Zoom, here you can select your video input and this is something called OBS virtual camera. I'm going to do that. I'm going to start video first and there you have it. Now you can see everything that I'm doing in OBS in my zoom window. Now once I get out of the screen share and, and go to my let's say my book the presentation that I'm in front of and I can scroll through it that's what the audience is going to see. They're not going to see any of this. They only, you only see this right now because I'm sharing my screen with you. It's very meta. It gets, it gets confusing. Just know that once you download the software called OBS Virtual Camera, you will be able to see the option right here. This OBS Camera option is also something you might see, but if I click on that, nothing happens. There's one more step involved 
in making this one work, but they're pretty much the same thing. I don't know what the difference is. I know that this one works right off the bat. As soon as I download OBS Virtual Camera and I have OBS open and I have Zoom open, this opens up and I can see OBS Virtual Camera. Now, the one thing that you might have to activate is after you downloaded OBS Virtual Camera, which I'll provide a link down in the description, these options right here are going to change. You're going to see Stop Virtual Camera and I think Start Virtual Camera. Let me go here and show you what I mean. Let me open up Zoom again. See, Zoom is right here. Stop Virtual Camera. It's just going to show your Zoom audience this default integration screen. If I start Virtual Camera, now they see what's going on in my OBS window. So now that you have that, there's one more thing that's optional. Okay, let me show you something here now. If I go to my audio input, you can see here that I have my Blue Snowball microphone linked as my audio source. That's perfectly fine, but your video may be slightly out of sync because your OBS is delaying a little bit before it sends the video over to Zoom. And then Zoom is taking your microphone directly from the USB. There's less latency in that. So that's going to get your audio off sync. So I have something called cable output that allows me to take the, the audio source right from OBS, right here, the Yeti microphone, and throw it over to Zoom. Now they're both synced. So my video and audio are coming coming from OBS, therefore they're more in sync than if I had my audio directly from Zoom, if that makes sense. If you want to learn how to do that and figure out how to make your audio come from OBS instead of directly from your microphone inside of Zoom, I can link a video below that helps you with, with that step. But for now, I just wanted to show you what's possible uh, with the OBS Zoom integration. So let me go back here to my OBS screen share. I want to show you now how to create a presentation for your background that you can scroll through like this. Now you see behind my window that I have a PowerPoint. And believe it or not, I'm not sharing this PowerPoint inside of OBS because otherwise I wouldn't be able to put myself in front of the screen with the green screen and I wouldn't be able to scroll through it as you saw. To do this, I have to save all these files as a image so all slides, all 33 slides as an image, and I'm going to load those into OBS. It sounds complicated, but it's really simple. Once you have your PowerPoint finished and there are no more changes, you're going to go ahead and hit File, Export, Change File Type, and you're going to click on Image File as a, you want to download it as a PNG file. Save As. Now this is the folder name that you're going to put all your PNG files in. I made that before. So let's just make it two. That's the folder name. Now you want to save all your slides inside that folder. Now let's load up that folder into OBS. Let's bring in a image slideshow. And I'm going to name this PowerPoint. And the only thing you have to change here is your slide mode. You want to make it manual so you can control when the slides are switching. Now let's load up our images. You want to go down here where it says image files. Click the plus button, add files, find your PNG folder. And once you do that, you want to click on the first one and then control A for PC selects everything. So you load them all at once. They're loaded. Good. Let's hit OK. Now let me hide this for a second so you can see something. I'm going to hide my screen share. Oh, that's not it. This is it right here. I'm going to make this bigger. Now you can see that I disappeared and that's because I just have to readjust my layer order. So now I have to grab the camera and slide it on top of the PowerPoint layer just like this. So this is what it looks like in the background. Uh, let me go back here and I'm going to hide the PowerPoint now. Now you can see it. So before my camera layer was under my PowerPoint, I just dragged that up. And now I also muted the PowerPoint because if I turn it on, you can't see my screen anymore because that layer takes um, over 
the other layer. If that makes sense. Now, how do you transition each layer behind you like this? That's one more step involved in there. And you're going to go to inside of OBS file, settings, hotkeys. These are all the hotkeys that you can assign to your scenes and your sources. The source that we just created is a slideshow. So it must be all the way down here. We, we named it PowerPoint. So next slide, we're going to use the forward arrow and the back arrow or the right and left arrows. Assign those shortcuts to that. And what this does is now I can move back and forth using those two shortcuts. So that's how you create a transparent background and how you import your PowerPoint presentation from PowerPoint into OBS, and then you're able to scroll through the presentation. And I guess one quick last one here I want to show you is how did I make this effect happen here? So if you're familiar with OBS, you know you can load different files in here. So what I have going on here is a snow effect, which I downloaded from pixabay.com. They have uh, stock videos. And this video, it has a green screen behind it, so it's chroma keyed. It's a stock video with the chroma key in it. I did have to go into filters and then add a chroma key, just like I showed you from my video, and I removed that green background, so now it's transparent. And obviously, every time you create a new scene, whether it's this one, this one, this one, or that one, make sure you have your microphone as an input. It's very important. I've created scenes before, and then I'm in the middle of a Zoom presentation, and I'm switching over to a scene and all of a sudden I get people in the chat saying that I'm muted. That is because I'm not muted on Zoom. It's because I forgot to add the microphone source to every single scene that I have. So folks, that's it. If you have any questions, please drop it down in the comment below. All these guys right here want to thank you for watching today and I'll see you next time. Try to catch me howling at the moon.